Today I'm opening up an entire booster box of the brand new set Paldea Evolved. 36 packs of cards here and you know I'm still chasing that Iono alternate art. Is today going to be the day? Let's open this box and find out. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the show. Drop a like on this video and if you haven't already, follow the channel by hitting that subscribe button. A full booster box of Paldea Evolved, brand new set, but we're gonna do an experiment with this box. Now, where I bought this from, they opened up about a case of them so they could put some singles in their case and stuff like that, but they said that all of the hits in all of the booster boxes that they opened were all in the last five packs on either the right or the left side. So what I'm gonna do today is take all five from each side. One, two, three, four, five from the right side. And we're gonna take one, two, three, four, five from the left side. Take these 10 packs here. I'll keep them, I'll keep them separated. Right side and left side. Set these right over here, just like that. And let's take all the rest of these out, set them right here. Let's see, grab this one, set it back. Let's grab all of these, move this box to the side, and let's blast through all of these and see if those last 10 are where all of the hits are. Now, I know that you guys have seen a ton of the bulk by now, so I think today we're just gonna go through the packs just real simple. We're just gonna swish, swish through them like that. Nothing in that one, code card for you. Now, with Scarlet and Violet base set, it seemed like you were almost guaranteed 12 hits per box. Like the ones that I opened, each box was about 12 to 13 hits. And that wasn't really typical with Sword and Shield for me at least. It was like maybe like eight to like 10. And then like, you know, you were hoping that there was an alt in the box, but most of the time there wasn't. But with this, with Scarlet and Violet, it feels like almost every box has at least like three or four EXs, three or four of the, like, here we go, the illustration rare, pseudo wudo bam. This is one that I needed in the binder. Here's the code for you. Handful, couple of illustration rares, couple of EXs, and then like one special illustration rare, like, or an alt art of some kind, and then one gold. So let's see if Paldea sticks with that trend. So far that's one, um, one illustration rare. I'm guessing, uh, yeah, two to three more illustration rares and uh, nothing in this one. Two to three more illustration rares and maybe four or five EXs total, one alt art illustration rare and one gold. And I'd really like that gold to be the gold Skeledurge. Let's see, oh, here we go. Another Dedene EX full art, bam, here's the code for you. Definitely have already pulled this one, but it's okay. I'll drop it into the sleeve. Centering though, seems the same as Sword and Shield to me. I was hoping like maybe we'd see just like a massive like upgrade in quality with Scarlet and Violet in terms of like printing where, you know, you wouldn't get chases that are like so off center, nothing. And oh, almost said nothing. And there we go, the Wochin EX. So this could be the one alt art of the box. Bam, there's the code for you. I think there's a chance that you can get two for sure, but pretty much just one per box. This is a really beautiful card though. I love the forest green and all the, oh, right as I drop it. I love the forest green and all of the gray on it. That's very cool. Matches my uh, sweatshirt right now. Let's keep it going. But so far, there's our uh, our full art EX. That's what I forgot about. There's usually like one or two full art EXs too. Let's just go through this one. And there we go. We've got the Quaxley illustration rare. Let's set these aside. It feels so wrong to just swish through the packs like this. I might have to start like pulling some the normal way, but second illustration rare of the box. And it's one of the starters. We got the Quaxley, very cool. But this was all so far the right side. And I don't think uh, that that theory holds up that the last 10 have all the hits in them because we've already pulled, there we go, a full art and alt art and some illustration rares from the front of the box. So maybe they just got a weird case or something like that. But if you're out there at the comic shops and you see a, a fresh booster box opened, I don't know, maybe grab a few out of the back just to see, maybe some cases got all next up. As soon as they told me that, I kind of figured like it was probably like a rare situation there where they ended up getting like a, a case like that that just wasn't mixed up or something like that. There's no way that every box would be like that. And I think we're for sure proving that right now by getting some of these pulls without them being in those last 10 packs. But okay, well, I don't know. It's actually been a few now without them, but 
think we're still gonna see a pretty even distribution, especially with the uh, alt art and the full art being on that front right side. Here we go, nothing and another code for you. I don't know though, it is kind of a little easier to go through packs like this, let you get a whole booster box done a lot easier. But for those last 10, maybe we'll uh, pull each card and see. But oh, all right, this has been quite a few now with nothing. Are we gonna find at least the gold in the back? I think that one alt art was definitely the one alt art. There could be two in a box. I'd be excited if it was that Iono that I wanna pull. But like I said, really curious to see how the value is gonna hold for Scarlet Base Set and Paldea Evolve. The chases from Base Set have already dropped significantly. I'm really curious how long. There we go, Skeledurge EX. Bam, we got the nice fire starter going into a sleeve. Still need a ton of cards though. So, you know, pulling everything for the binder is nice. Can I open a sleeve? There we go, 300 videos and I struggle putting the cards in the sleeves, what's going on? But a couple days from now, I'm going to be at Card Party. I'm so excited. There's a link in the description for this video. It's not gonna be too late to get tickets still once this video goes up. And I really hope I get to see some of you guys there. Let's keep it going almost through this entire box for the front packs here. We'll go a little slower through those last 10, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe those last 10 are hiding some more hits. Front of the box is looking pretty good though. But like I said, if you see a fresh box of this anywhere or you see at least that the art set is still in order in the back, definitely grab a few of them and let us know if like you just snipe the, the hit right out of the box by just grabbing that last pack. Here we go though, getting towards the end. At least I'm not doubling up. I'm surprised that like I haven't doubled up more. Bam, the code cards are like a little, kind of like torn up too, it's a little weird. Let's keep it going here though. These uh, wrappers are like the thin style wrappers too, compared to the like the kind of thicker ones that we were getting with the Scarlet Violet base set and just another hollow bam. Hopefully you guys are doing better on these codes than I'm doing in this box, but we just kind of went like a bunch in a row with nothing. So I'm like really curious yeah, look at this. I'm okay. Well, here we go. Wu Chen EX. I'm curious to open those last 10. I think it's definitely not like that they're all there, but I don't know. Maybe we'll see some like back to back hits from those last 10. And I think we'll do a nice little recap at the end of this too. But let's see four, five or so left from the front of the box. And then we'll test out this theory. I think they just got a weird case though. Can we get an Iono? No, just a code card. All right. Keep it going though. This set's fun. I don't know. It felt like Rebel Clash at first with the boss's orders and the way we're gonna get Charizard in the next set of Obsidian Flame. <laughs> okay, all right. I thought it was about to be the alt, but there we go. Full art, full art Iono. Honestly, I'll take it. I feel like I'm gonna eventually pull the alt art and my goal with Scarlet and Violet is to 100% every set. Here we go though, Iono full art in the binder and I think we can for sure say that the uh, the weird error boxes that my shop got was was probably just you know unique to that one case that they opened do we have something else in this one no just a code card and a hollow okay two packs left there's no way that the Iono alt and the full art are in the same box right I mean it's definitely happened before like getting the, the full art and then the alt version in a box, but I don't know. Last pack here before we grab those 10 that were in the back. We'll go through those a little bit slower, but I'm really happy with this box so far. I don't think I've doubled up anything except for the Dedene. I pulled another Dedene. Here we go, last pack and all right, the Squawkabilly EX. So I'm really just, I'm really, I am ready to say, even without opening those last 10, that that was just like some weird error box that they got. It's definitely not every box, but here we go. Here's the five from the left side, and here is the five. If I can grab them from the right side, there is cards and wrappers all over my desk. Let's start off with this right side right here, though. 
Let's just go through it. You know, we'll pull every single card too. But so far, we should be seeing like a couple more illustration rares and there should be a gold or maybe an alternate art in its place. Like in Rock EX, what did I just say in the last video? This is gonna be the EX that I pull every time I open Paldea Evolve now. Every set has one of those cards for me. Bam, I don't know what it is. Okay, let's keep going from the right side, but first pack on the right side from the five in the back had an EX. Let's see, I feel like this one's gonna be empty, but there still should be a few more hits in this box. We got Super Rod, Faulkner, and Bomb of Snow. Bam, see, how did I know? How did I know that it was gonna be empty? Oh God, I shouldn't have said that because now all the conspiracy theories are gonna start. Here we go, Fletchling, Voltorb, we've got Clavel, Tropius, Electrode, Vigoroth, Pinchurichin, Crocklore, Merrill, Sloking, EX, there we go. Okay, the nice like, like a uh, kind of terrestrial, terrestrialized version. I'm definitely saying wrong, that wrong, but bam, code for you. Okay, backside, we've got two hits so far from the right. This sloking is actually really cool. It's, I really like the amount of uh, like, like sparkle that's on the front of it. It almost looks like, um, like it's gonna fall off of it. Here we go, amazing texture. Let's see, if there's a gold in these last 10, I'm gonna be really, really surprised, <laughs> and especially if there's another alt art, but let's see, we've got Bramblin, Fletchrender, and Veluza for the hollow. All right, last pack from the right side. So far, I don't know, I think we're just about at where all of the hits should be. For this box, I think there might just be one or two left. We've got the Low Kicks, Arctabax, and Oricorio for the Hollow Code for you. All right, last five from the left side. Let's do this. Let's see if there's a gold in here. Let's see if I can pull a gold Skeledurge for my buddy. We've got Tinka Tink, Pinchurichin, Talonflame, Heracross, Phalanx, and all right, so I was right. There's the one gold for the box, but it's just a gold super rod. Really wanted it to be one of the gold starters, and I really, really want to pull that Tyranitar illustration rare, but let's drop our gold super rod, bam, into a sleeve. So, so far, this is staying true to kind of maybe what their new uh, kind of seeding processes for the packs one gold one alt art one full art per box i think there could be another ex or two in these but that should really be it we've got the weevil the combi and tinkaton for the hollow bam i think yeah let's see either one more illustration rare or these last three i think guaranteed like have to be empty we got magikarp slow poke the magikarp would be amazing to pull too we've got the azure the vesquin heracross gyarados and luxray hollow for the rare bam code for you two packs left i don't know i think this box is done i think about 12 hits per box is pretty much guaranteed with a chance at maybe up to 14, but I haven't seen any boxes over 14. We got the Dendra, Palisan, Raichu, Vigoroth, Hopip, and Mimikyu Hollow. I think I was right. I think I was like totally right. Last pack magic here. If there's anything in this, it should be an illustration rare. Let's see. We've got the Rockruff, Palmy, Larvitar. Come on, get, let Tyranitar be in this one. Ice Skew. We got Iono. We've got Knacklestack, Quaxly, uh, Hydragon, or Hydragon, finally said that one right. And, uh, okay, so one more full art trainer with the Giacomo for the rare, bam, and here's the code part for you. Let's do a quick little recap. All right, from this booster box, it looks like we got one, two, three, four, five EXs, one full art EX, one of these like uh, special terrestrialized EXs here, two illustration rares, which I think is kind of weird, and then a one full art, two trainer full arts, the gold super rod, and the alternate art Wo Chin EX. And how crazy is that, that we pulled the alt art, the full art, 
and the EX all in the same box. I'm excited to open this. I gotta pull this entire set. I think I gotta finish this binder. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post new ones every week. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in one of these older videos right here.